you know, Dina and Brandy were best of friends. And Dina told Brandy all her secrets. Kim, have you pulled up all the most recent information on Brandy, where she that's is? That's what I have right now. Does Brandy have a Facebook? Yeah, she, while well, she's pulling her up. Though. I'm pretty sure that's her. She sure looks like Dina. Remember how they looked a lot alike? Yep. She is not on good standing with the Dean family now. I wouldn't think that she was. I, yeah, I didn't think she was being cooperative with yeah. them. Yeah. What you just saw is a clip from the all new series Killer Unknown featuring the Tulsa County Cold Case Task Force and it airs on the Investigation Discovery Network. One of the cases they're working is the unsolved murder of Dina Dean back in 1998 and joining us this morning is investigator Mike Huff and Dina's mother Diana Dean. Thanks to both of you for being here. You're and coming in early. We sure appreciate it. Diana, what'd you think when a television show like this called and said that they want to cover Dina's murder? I was shocked, Were you? But, but I was kind of happy because it gets out there that there's so many unsolved cases. And I think it's good for the other states to watch this and maybe try to get something like this going in their states. Definitely helps others, right? Yes. And Mike, you retired. What are you doing? I, I, <laughs> I did, I stay real busy, but yeah. uh, the sheriff uh, approached me about this and it was something I couldn't turn down. So I've imposed on 20 or so of my friends to uh, volunteer their time. So you guys have put together this cold case task force. W we have. And, and yeah. these are, these are investigators, detectives that have worked all these cold cases, so you guys couldn't just walk away from them when you retired, had to get back in and, and do this on your own time, really. Right, and a lot of these guys are federal agents that didn't have any involvement with murder cases, but you know, they, they, uh, they know were how investigators, to how, to, yeah. how to gather the facts, and uh, it's really been a, a great experience learning from them. Yeah. So, what is the show? Tell me about it. it has, your ser has the series concerning Dina, that hasn't aired? Uh, it, it started uh, Saturday night, two hour premiere. There's uh, six total episodes. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a rapidly evolving case. I mean, we just didn't participate in the show. I mean, we were, we were out yesterday, we'll be out all day today. Uh, so, it's uh, still moving along. They're still filming. Well, the, the filming at this point is is over, and I think uh, you know they're discussing. I think they have the rights for another year, and uh, you know we have 31 cases, so there's a lot of stuff to get to. Okay, so uh, Diana, how difficult has it been to to reopen all this and turn it all over? Has it? Uh, I'm, I'm sure it has been. It, it has been, but then I sit back and I look at the good that it might bring exactly. out on all of the cases. Uh, it was tough watching the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I got through it. I had plenty of support there, so we yeah. managed it pretty good. Yeah, good deal. And Mike, there's another case that Investigation Discovery is gonna, is gonna cover, right? Tell me about that. Well, that case is a 45-year-old case of a lady by the name of Vita uh, Woodson that was, uh, got off work late one night and was driving back home to Sperry and had some car problems. And she was uh, abducted, raped, murdered. Uh, we're on that case and you know these these cases have different challenges as they age and uh, so that's um, a, a difficult case but we've made tremendous headway and uh, you know I've been talking to the DA about it and uh, prosecutors so we're you know we're feeling good about where we are right now and I mean the show really shows that from start to, to near finish. Well, how, how, what is the show, it, how does it help you in your work? Do you, I mean, are you getting lots of leads? Well, actually, you know, we have the same feeling as Dina is. And we'd like for other um, parts of the country to see we're nothing special. You know, we're just doing this on our own time. So Not uh, giving some, up, though. Somebody like uh, Vic is, you know, in different parts of the country. So we, we'd like to see that happen to other cases. But, um, we're not giving up on these cases. I mean, we're here. We're not, it's not like we uh, are dependent on a paycheck. You know, we're, it's, it's more fun this way. Yeah. You know, and uh, so we have a lot of uh, people call in, support us, uh, offer information, uh, stuff that didn't come out 20 or 45 years ago. You wonder why. 
Yeah. But um, it is odd how that works, isn't it? You know, uh, recollections and memories. Uh, you know, I, I wish I knew more about that. But uh, yeah. you know, we're if people change as to what they'll let loose of. And relationships yeah. change. Exactly. Well, we're crossing our fingers, Diana, for you and your family. We always. Uh, keep you in our thoughts. Thank you. Yeah, and so the episode Killer Unknown started last Saturday. There are six episodes. It airs on Investigation Discovery Saturday at 9 p.m. And you can see the channel listings on your screen there. You can catch up on the first two episodes on demand. Mike Huff and Diana Dean, thanks so much for joining us today. We sure appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck. Yeah.